Well, I think we are all born with uh, curiosity. Uh, every child is curious. But then, you know, it, it's, it's often impeded and it's, you know, people have to work very hard to keep that flame alive. And I think what we do at the Institute, we feed that curiosity, we kind of stimulate it. I'm absolutely delighted that this year we can welcome 241 members. Most of them made it with great obstacles. Our seminars are proceeding. Some of them are virtual or hybrid, but others are in person. I often think of the Institute as a jewel box, but this Scholar Spotlight series is actually opening the jewel box and showing all the diamonds that are in there. The story is about these individuals and what drives them and what fascinates them. And everyone is completely different. And I think that is the beauty of the Institute. And I hope that th through this series, people will get a sense of this, this immense richness that is in the world of scholarship and that you know, comes together from all corners of the world. It's interesting because there are two important phases in research, like finishing something, starting something, is much more important. Giving to the Institute is a little bit like research itself. The first step is perhaps the most difficult one. But the nice thing is that Institute is entirely about people. You're not supporting some abstract goal. You're supporting individuals, wonderful individuals that are extremely talented. It's very hard to predict exactly what the outcomes will be, but I see every day that the outcomes are much better than even my grandest expectations. The more free-floating, open-ended, curiosity-driven, passion-driven research that we have at IES is uh, under threat. But I think it's more important than ever because you know, one thing we know is that the world needs new solutions and, and breakthrough ideas.